Hello, welcome to another edition of Let's Fix It with Dan Giles. Today's project is I'm going to show you the proper way to test a smoke alarm and to test a smoke alarm system, especially when they're all linked together. One alarm goes off and it ties into all the rest of them and they all go off. So I'm going to show you the proper way to test those, so let's get started. Alright, I said there's a proper way to check your smoke alarms, and by that, the simple can called smoke. You could probably pick this up at any Lowe's or Home Depot or even a hardware store for that matter. And the way it works is this is actually a can of smoke. Well, it's not actually smoke, but it's going to imitate smoke. And it's definitely going to give you a better way of testing your smoke alarms, better than sticking a, a long pole or a stick on the button and making the sound go off. That's telling you that the smoke detector, the alert system works, but it doesn't tell you if the sensor in it works. This is going to tell you if the sensor works. And it's pretty simple. Flip it out, push the button, you get a little blast of simulated smoke that hits the sensor on the smoke alarm, therefore setting it off, lets you know that that thing is working properly. So I'm going to show you how that's done, so stay tuned. Alright, as you can see in the frame here, we do have a smoke alarm in the ceiling. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spray the can smoke towards the, the smoke alarm. Uh, it's recommended that you only need to do it about a half to one second time period. So we'll go ahead and flip it out. You just want to get it as close as, as what your arm will reach and push the button. Well, as you can see, the canned smoke does its job. And what we're testing is the actual sensor. Should there be a problem in your home and you do get smoke, you will know that the smoke alarm in your house is going to work because you tested it with a product that kind of emulates smoke. It's a very good safety item to have in the house. Every 30 days or so, check your alarms, make sure they're doing good. Now what I would suggest doing is once you do this one alarm and once it quits, then move on to the next one. They're all tied together, so you want to make sure that each and every alarm, the sensor on, on it, is doing what it's supposed to do. This is Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. I'll see you soon.